Okay, so I believe this is part F, long answer questions, and it's going to be about one of these colleges again. So question number one, Seaborn Community Center has a main office and meeting rooms used by members of the community for a wide variety of activities. There is a local area network, which is also a LAN, serving all the areas of the center. There is a mix of both PCs and laptop computers, and they are, <clears throat> excuse me, they are all connected to the LAN using Ethernet cables. Okay, so the PCs are connected and the laptops are connected as well using LAN cables. So Ethernet cables connected to the LAN. The computers vary in age and specification, many having been donated by members over the years. The center has been given a grant. That's just free money to do what you need to do to replace the computer system. It is considering replacing the system with wireless enabled laptops. Okay, we know what this is going to mean later on anyway, or for a different type of question. The center has decided to go ahead with a replacement of the computer system and needs to dispose of the old system. The members are aware that there are moral, ethical, and legal factors that should be considered. Analyze the factors that should be considered when disposing of the old system. Interesting question. This has nothing to do with Wi-Fi, old laptops, new laptop. It's simply to do with how do we dispose of these things legally, ethically, morally, and whatever other words there are. Okay, so the first thing we have is backup. We know what backup means. It means to uh, somewhat securely save your files to use somewhere else at a later date. Um, must ensure that all data is backed up. Need to determine backup procedures. So the, simply the process or the protocols that they have to follow. Data may be on central storage, example, network server or individual devices. So this simply means that some data will be on the laptops and PCs and some will be on a hard drive or a network server somewhere and you still need to back everything up, right? Next, we have data deletion. The company will need to ensure secure data disposed, uh, sorry, disposal from all devices may include sensitive company, private, confidential, financial information, customer stroke, staff, personal data, uh, that is data that needs to comply with the Data Protection Act or GDPR regulations. So data deletion methods need to be addressed. Uh, deletion of files, reformatting a hard drive, data destruction, and physical destruction as well. So simply put, you have to find a way to safely delete this. When I say safely, I don't mean um, in a manner that's not going to hurt you. It simply means make sure that everything is completely gone. Because imagine a company's financial details are on one of these laptops and then, and they're not secured properly you you throw it away in a landfill or you give it away to somebody because it's being disposed of right somebody gets hold of that hard drive um, some someone like me who knows how to plug a, um, a a laptop hard drive into a dock to access all the files and there's no password on there the files are still there i can open a spreadsheet and see all their information all their login details for their banking how much money they have customers details that could be detrimental for a company, okay? Probably the biggest thing is equipment disposal and recycling. So recycling, sale or donation to other organizations or individuals need time and resources to organize, pay for professional services to do it. Recycling parts of the equipment and this minimizes environmental impact. So disposal, safely disposing of hazardous waste, uh, minimizing the amount of equipment wasted. This is probably the biggest section because again, they're getting rid of it. You can legally sell or give stuff away if it's being let's say recycled or 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 just a company trying to get rid of stuff it's it's perfectly okay to give stuff away and most companies they tend to do this to small charities so let's say your college is gonna change out all the pcs in the pc suites right rather than simply chucking everything and binning them or burning them what they might do they might get some it people to come in to clear everything make sure it's okay they might find a local charity or a local library that needs some PCs and those PCs don't typically tend to be super fast and they need the bare minimum because some people just go to the library, um, the library, sorry, to um, browse the internet and to just learn about computers in general, right? They don't need the best. So they might give it to that company. But again, the details cannot be on there. Nothing can be on there from the previous company. Next, we have the legal requirements. So there's a Data Protection Act which means that all data must be kept securely within reason. Um, if someone calls and says, I need my data completely removed from your system, that's linked to GDPR and the Data Protection Act as well. So we have the WEEE EU Directive. I actually don't know what this is, but I'm going to look that up. You guys should as well. You know what? I'm not going to tell you the answer. You guys should. Anything I mention in these videos that you're not too sure of, you're not quite sure of, pause the video, open another tab, 
go on your phone, whatever, Google what that term means and read it and try and understand it as well. I genuinely don't know what this means. I can look it up, obviously, and I, and I can give you the answer, but it makes more sense for you guys to learn how to do research yourselves. Uh, Environment Act, Waste Acceptance Criteria, WAC. Uh, there are other considerations as well. Who's going to carry out the work? Uh, would it would in-house staff have the required skills? Specialist data destruction contractor. Now, typically speaking, most companies, I mean, from my knowledge anyway, wouldn't need a specialist data destruction contractor unless they're being lazy. They could say to an IT person in a company, listen, I need all the hard drives from these computers completely removed and disposed of in a safe way. And that person would say, okay, let me go into this lab, get all these PCs out, take the hard drives out, or simply wipe the hard drive, wipe them completely, install a fresh copy of Windows 10, 11, Mac OS, whatever it is, so that the hard drives are completely, completely empty. So when they do hand them over to the next person or the next organization, they then have to install everything from scratch. So to them, it seems like it's a new PC, as in the software on there has never been touched before because it has to be redone completely. That's what that typically means. And that's it for this one. So let's go to the next one.